Okay, in this question where you've got a function, f of x is x squared subtract 2ax, a is a positive constant, it's just a number, and f of x is clearly a quadratic. Showing the coordinates of any point where the graph meets the axis, so that's what we care about, not the maximum and minimum here, sketch the following. y is the modulus of f of x and y is f of the modulus of x. So let's just try and draw the original graph. Okay, so let's, uh, the original graph is y is equal to x squared subtract a, uh, 2ax. Now if x is equal to 0, that would be that y is equal to 0. And similarly, if you're solving y is equal to 0, you would solve 0 is equal to x squared subtract 2ax. You could factorise the x like that. So x is 0, which is what we had before, but also x is going to be equal to 2a. Okay, like that. So, we know it's a quadratic. Yeah, we know it's a quadratic, and we know it's got roots at x is 0, and x is equal to 2a, and it's a positive quadratic. So it looks something like that. Okay, so now we're asked, and these points here are 0, 0, this point here, is 0 to a. We're not actually asked for the maximum or minimum at all. We could easily find it if, if you wanted. You know that the minimum is going to be, because it's symmetrical, the minimum is going to be at a point a, and if you substitute a into the original function, you get a squared subtract 2a squared, which is negative a squared. So if you really wanted to, you could have that as well. Now we want to draw y equals the modulus of f of x. Well, you know that that graph is just exactly this graph, but whatever it goes negative is reflected above the axis. So it's going to look something like this. It's going to come down here to this point, then it's going to be reflected up here, and it's going to continue on its trajectory over here. Again, 0, 0 are the key points here, and 0, 2a is the key point there. If you wanted this point, you didn't need it, this would have been a positive a squared this time. So that would be for part a, uh, 1, a1. And a part 2, you're drawing f of modulus of x. Well, you should know this one. So this is modulus f of x. f of modulus of x. Well, what you do is you copy this graph for x being positive and then just reflect it in the x-axis. So if you're drawing this one here, you would copy this graph from here onwards and then you would just reflect it like follows. So this point here would still be 0, 0. This point here would still be 0, 2a. This point here, therefore, would be... Uh, sorry, not 0, 2a. Sorry, I've, I've mucked, mucked these up here. That there should have been 2a, 0 all along. And I should have swapped these around. My fault, my apologies. That was 0, 0. And this was 2a, 0 here. So this here... It's 2a0, and this here would be negative 2a0, like that. Okay, continuing on, the function g is defined by uh, the following. So for part b, g of x is equal to 3ax. And it says, find f of g of a in terms of a. So, first, so we want to find f of g of a. Okay, so firstly, let's find g of a. G of A, we put A in here, is going to be 3A squared. So F of G of A is F of 3A squared. So we want to put 3A squared into our original function up here. So our original function, F of X, what was that? It was X squared subtract 2AX, X squared subtract 2AX. Now we're putting in 3A squared, so we have 3A squared, all squared, subtract 2A multiplied by 3A squared. So 3a squared, all squared, will be 9a to the power of 4. Take away, and this would be 3 times 2 is 6. a times a squared is a cubed, like that. Looking up here for part c, it says solve g of f of x is equal to 9a cubed. So for part c, we're asked to solve g of f of x is equal to 9a cubed. Well, what is g of f of x? Well, that's putting f of x into the function g, so that would be... Um, where you see x, you put this here. So where you see x, instead you put all of this stuff here. So we're going to solve 3a 
multiplied by x squared subtract 2ax is equal to 9a cubed. Let's expand it. Uh, well, we could divide both sides by 3a here would be a perfect move here. Divide both sides by 3a, so we get ourselves that x squared subtract 2ax is going to be equal to 3a squared. And then what we're going to do is we're going to... Um, we're trying to solve this in terms of a. Now, you could... Uh, Subtract the 3a squared from both sides, so 2ax subtract 3a squared is equal to 0, and attempt to factorise. Okay, so how would you factorise this? To get negative 3a squared, you're going to have to have a 3a and an a, but differing signs. And I think that what you need is a negative 3a there and a plus a there, and I think it all works out for you nicely, and it does. So x is therefore equal to 3a, or x is equal to negative a. And let's look up at the question, what did it ask? It asked us to solve that, and we have our two solutions.